Hey guys, this is Legoman2005, and for May the 4th, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series boss figure, so let's get into it. Now this figure comes to us from the gaming collection. I found this at GameStop. They actually had a bunch of these figures at GameStop. And the overall look of the figure is of course from the game Republic Commando. Although I have been told that the armor is a bit inaccurate there uh, because of the use, the reuse from the Black Series Hunter figure. Uh, but it, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, coming up close here on the head sculpt. Head sculpt is very nice. Very nice uh, blue uh, visor. You can see very well. It's not as shiny as Master Chiefs, but you know. Uh, at the back of the head, really nice sculpted detail. Also the paint apps on this figure are really good. It gives them a nice uh, battle damaged and worn look uh, to the armor. Uh, one thing that I can complain about is that this shoulder pad is a bit deformed. Uh, that's not ideal, but whatever. Uh, you can see more of that scuffing on here. I do wish there was more of that because it's very plain white figure and like these don't really do much because it doesn't really carry down. And the sculpted in scratches, as you can kind of see there, I believe, uh, they don't paint at all, so it's kind of useless. Uh, you can see more of that scuffing on the arm here, and on the other shoulder pad, a little bit more on the bicep here. Uh, I don't know if there's anything on the back. No, there isn't. I guess there's a bit of scuffing right there. My favorite things about the design is uh, this stripe, how the orange is, because it kind of makes him look like he has a big pauldron off, off to the side here, and that's just like one of my favorite details about the boss design. Uh, I guess one inaccuracy uh, that I'll point out for you is that I believe this is supposed to have two stripes instead of one, so I guess that's a little disappointing, but again, I don't really care. Uh, it's got the dots on the side here, uh, you know, backpack, uh, nice silver detailing, some more scuffs and sculpted in scuffs. Yeah, that's basically it for the look of the figure. Uh, because of the reuse of the hunter mold it has the hole there for the wrist mounted blade but yep i think that is it for the look of the figure let's get into articulation for articulation he has a ball hinge joint at or a double hinge joint at the head i believe it's a ball in there if you can see it and then another ball joint at the base of the neck so it gives him Nice looking down and looking up, as you can see. Uh, shoulders are, of course, on a swivel uh, with the shoulder pad attached to that. Bicep swivel, uh, elbow hinge, wrist swivel, uh, wrist hinge up and down. I believe it's with both. Nope, it's just with the weapon holding hand. Uh, we got, does that? No, it doesn't. Uh, we got a rocker joint which unlike Master Chief can actually get you places, it actually does things. So yeah, no waist swivel. Uh, legs can kick forward that far, only if you pivot the uh, thigh a little bit, which brings me to thigh swivel. That's the that's as far back as you're gonna get the leg. Uh, knee swivel and knee hinge. Unfortunately, that pad is not attached to the shin, so if you try to do a crouching thing, it's going to look off because it's off to the side there. Uh, swivel at the ankle and hinge up and down, and of course, ankle pivot. And that is it for the articulation on the figure. Let's take a look at the accessories. Accessories that Boss comes with are, of course, 
his trusty blaster. I don't know the name of this blaster, but it is of course really nicely sculpted. You can see there, really nice detail on that blaster. It's kind of got like a weird speckle look to it, but you know, nicely molded all throughout. It's got the magazine on the side there. It would have been nice if they had a little readout on the side like it does in the game. But uh, yeah, it comes with that and his backpack. And this just attaches to his back and it's the same as you, you saw on the figure. So to attach it, just grab your figure. It does come in the package uh, without the backpack to attach it. There's a hole, there's a peg, put peg in hole and there you go. For size comparison, here's Boss with Marvel Legends Spider-Man, Fortnite Victory Royale Series Ripley, fellow Black Series figure Crosshairs, Marvel Legends Modoc, and Spartan Collection Master Chief. And there you go, that's how big Master Chief is. And there you go, there's the review for the Marvel Legends, or not Marvel Legends, Star Wars Black Series Boss figure from Republic Commando. Uh, this figure is great. Uh, one great point about the figure, at least for my copy, all the joints are nice and stiff. I don't have to worry about any of the uh, elbow joints or wrist joints being super loose. Uh, he stands well, obviously. You can just put him on a table and he stands well. Obviously, you gotta like finagle with it just a little bit. But yeah, uh, unlike Master Chief, he has that great ankle pivot. Uh, I haven't tried a two-handed pose with the uh, rifle yet. Here, let's see if you can pull out the two-handed pose with the rifle. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's actually really cool. There you go, there's his two-handed pose with the rifle. Despite the inaccuracies that people tell me he has, it's just a really cool figure. Like if you ever played the game Republic Commando, you will definitely want to pick this up. And this has been the Lego Man 2005 signing off. Bye guys and happy May the 4th.